Hi students, I am Shubham Jhavar. I am a master teacher at Vedantu. We are discussing J Advanced 2020 Paper 1 Mathematics and the question for this video is this. Let S be the set of all complex numbers Z satisfying mod Z square plus Z plus 1 equal to 1. Then which of the following statements is or are true? Now this is a multiple correct type question that means it can have one or more options correct. Here are the four options. Seeing the first options, let me tell you the concept that we are going to use to comment upon the first three options is triangle inequality, which essentially is mod of Z1 plus Z2 is less than equal to mod of Z1 plus mod of Z2. And the same expression mod of Z1 plus Z2 is greater than or equal to non-negative difference between mod of Z1 and mod of Z2. <coughs> First, commenting upon the fourth option, mod of z square plus z plus 1 equal to 1 essentially means z square plus z plus 1 I can say as e to the power iota theta because its modulus is 1. Now, theta can take any value say between minus pi open to pi closed. So, as theta varies, this equation will give me different values of z satisfying. So that essentially means the set S has infinitely many elements. There are infinitely many Z which can satisfy the equation mod of Z square plus Z plus 1 equal to 1. Because as theta varies, I get infinitely many Z. So that means D is false. Now let's explore the first three options in which we have to comment upon the values of mod Z plus half and mod z. So let's first start with mod z plus half. Now to create z plus half expression, I would complete the square of this quadratic. That means I'll write z square plus z plus 1 as z plus half whole square plus 3 by 4. Now using triangle inequality, I can say this is less than or equal to mod of z plus half whole square plus mod of 3 by 4. Now this expression is same as 1 as per this given info. So you can say 1 is less than equal to mod of z plus half whole square is essentially this and mod of 3 plus 4 is 3 plus 4 only. So essentially it means mod of z plus half whole square is greater than or equal to 1 minus 3 by 4 which is 1 by 4. So that essentially means mod of z plus half is greater than or equal to half. Mind it mod can never be negative. So mod of z plus half greater than or equal to half is what I can comment about mod of z plus half. So if we go back that essentially means C is correct and hence A is wrong. Now you may be inquisitive, what if I had used the other part of triangle inequality, that is this. So here it effectively means two possibilities. One, mod z plus half whole square plus 3 by 4 is greater than or equal to mod z plus half whole square minus 3 by 4. So that essentially means one is greater than or equal to mod z plus half whole square minus 3 by 4 which essentially means mod of z plus half whole square is less than equal to 7 by 4 which essentially means mod of z plus half is less than equal to root 7 by 2 and of course uh, you know it is greater than or equal to 0 in fact it is greater than or equal to half which we have already commented upon now what if I had used the other possibility which is mod z plus half whole square plus 3 by 4 which is essentially 1 is greater than or equal to what if I had taken it opening with opposite sign. So 3 by 4 minus mod z plus half whole square. So this essentially means mod z plus half whole square is greater than or equal to minus 1 by 4 which is 
always so. Why? Because mod z plus half is always non-negative. So this was just for your inquisitiveness. Let's proceed to possibly comment about option B. That means mod z. Now to comment upon mod z, I would like to isolate z. And I'll use the triangle inequality in this way. Mod of z square plus z plus 1 is always less than equal to mod of z square plus z plus mod of 1. So essentially it means 1 is less than equal to mod of z square plus z plus 1. So essentially it means mod of z square plus z is greater than or equal to 0. Which is obviously always so. So it doesn't give me much about mod z. So that means I'll use the other triangle inequality, the other part. So that essentially means mod z square plus z plus 1 is less than equal to my bad greater than equal to mod z square plus z minus mod 1 which is 1. So essentially it means 1 is greater than equal to mod z square plus z minus 1. So essentially it means mod z square plus z is less than equal to 2. Now you may be inquisitive what if I had used 1 minus mod z square plus z on the right hand side. This would have meant that 1 is greater than equal to 1 minus mod z square plus z which essentially would mean mod z square plus z is greater than equal to 0 which is always so obviously. Now coming back to this I'll further say since there is less than equal to using triangle inequality that this expression mod of z square plus z is greater than or equal to mod of z square minus mod of z. This essentially means mod of z square minus mod of z minus 2 is less than or equal to 0. That means mod of z minus 1 plus 1 multiplied by mod of z minus 2 is less than or equal to 0. So that essentially means mod of z is less than or equal to 2 greater than or equal to minus 1. Now this is redundant because mod z is always greater than or equal to 0. So essentially it means mod z is less than or equal to 2. So as we go back and check the option, b seems to be correct. Now again you may be inquisitive, what if I had taken mod of z minus mod of z square here. So just to satisfy your inquisitiveness, we will see what happens. Mod z minus mod of z square, we get less than or equal to mod of z square plus mod of, uh, mod of z square plus z less than or equal to 2. So this essentially means mod of z square minus mod of z plus 2 greater than or equal to 0. Now if you see carefully, this is a quadratic in mod z whose discriminant is less than 0. That essentially means this will always hold. Why? Because its leading coefficient is positive and mod z is of course something real. Nonetheless, this inequality always holds and we don't get uh, as such any, anything much here. So that means my final answers are B and C. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for next question.